What's going on, people? This is Taj Shirase from Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to Playing With. Today, we're going to take a look at Sequence by Big Fish Audio. This is a contact instrument with heavy emphasis on step sequencing and sound design. There's over 4,000 drum samples and 32 808 basses. And even though they're pushing hip hop, this can be used for all popular genres of music. So with that said, let's get into it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go any further, we need to get a few things out of the way. Number one, you cannot load your own samples into sequence, unfortunately. Number two, there is no way to input MIDI notes into sequence using your MIDI controller, keyboard, or pad. You can trigger sounds using your MIDI controller, but there is no way to record them, at least not that I've seen. Now, if I find out later that it's actually a way to do this, I will be more than happy to come back and make a video showing you how to do this. But as of now, I cannot find a way to get this done. Number three, if you are one of those people that like to go to a friend's house or go to the store and go through the demo patterns and demo kits, stuff like that, in hopes that it will help sell you on the instrument, I'm going to let you know. This is not going to help you with sequence. There are 40 preset kits and 40 preset beats. And as somebody who considers himself a hip hop guy, none of these are really that impressive. So as I was saying before, as a hip hop guy, I can't recommend the demo stuff. However, there are 4,000 drum sounds in this instrument. It's going to be very difficult to have 4,000 eh, sounds. So with all of that out the way, let me show you what's actually very cool about this instrument, because they actually implemented some really dope ideas. What you're looking at is the main page or sequencer page, and you can have up to 12 instruments or drums for uh, each sequence. You can actually have up to 64 steps in, se in each sequence, which is actually very cool. As far as going through the different drum sounds or changing them, it's very simple. You go here, you click on that instrument, and now that opens up the menu. And you see the different categories and subcategories. So now I'm in kicks and then you can go to kick fat, kick knock, uh, kick punchy and easily click these double click them. And not only would you get a demo of how that sounds, it's already selecting that and, and adding that to that particular slot. And to be very honest, this is where you find all of the good sounds not in the demo stuff. So like I said, don't depend on that kind of stuff to sell you on the instrument. Let's say we want to go ahead and keep the kick 10, kick fat 10, and we can just click it again and that shuts off the menu. So you can power that particular instrument on and off here. You have your, oh, that's right. You can do previous and next here as well. Forgot about that. You have your mute, solo, volume, pitch, stuff that you're used to. You also have this. You can go to the settings tab here and you can do some very light editing to that particular sound. Down here you have this kind of checkerboard looking button. This is cool. This actually cycles through the instruments that you're already in. And I think that is very, very dope. So again, very easy to build a kit, but there's more on that later. 
going back up here, like I said, you have the kit presets, uh, beat presets. You have your input quantizing, whether you want it on or off and what type of uh, measure or, or value you want. Latch for the uh, sequencer. You can have the sequencer follow because it only has 16 steps at once. And this is actually very cool as well, what they've implemented here. Actually edit the beats. You can edit the length of the notes. You can edit the volume. You can do the panning. And you can also do the pitch. I do like that a lot. I really like that they make it very easy to get through those different aspects of of, of taking care of the sequencer, of doing different functions within the sequencer. So I do enjoy that. Big play button, as you've seen me play there. Swing. Got that. And again, the different steps. And like I said, you can go up to 64 steps. Crazy. You have your speed right here, which is actually cool as well. So you have your one, which is the standard speed. Half speed right there. Two times speed. Very cool. And then of course you got your division. Now, this is another really cool aspect right here is the scenes or snapshots, depending on what type of software you come from. You have up to 12 different scenes, and this could actually be different patterns, which is very cool. You can easily copy and paste if you like. So if I wanted to copy that to pattern three, paste. You want to alter the sequence a little bit. them the other thing you can do down here you have the ability to trigger different things that's going on within the instrument so all the way down here you have all of these bass notes these are your 808 bases which is cool you get here and now you have the different scenes so you can trigger the scenes using keys or pads on your MIDI controller very cool I like that a lot uh, you go up to the next octave which I believe will be C3 and now you're actually getting into the drums that you have set up right here Very cool. Now, the last couple of things are something I'll show you a little bit later. So we're done with the sequencer tab. Now you have the mixer tab. You have a lot of control here on what's going on with your drums. Up top, you see you have all of these dynamics and effects. Very easy to add. Basically, all you have to do is select which drum you want to add effects to. OK, yes, let's use that snare right there and I'm going to trigger that on the MIDI controller. There we go. But I'm going to select this particular instrument by just clicking effects. And now up top, you have an EQ, you have compressor, low pass filter, high pass filter, drive, stereo, lo-fi, saturator, shaper, delay, reverb, flanger, phaser and limiter. And this is all very easy to apply to your instrument of choice. Now you can go to the compressor and again, power everything on and off by clicking here. Got that. 
What if I wanted to add a little drive? Nice and dirty. Lo-fi, if you like. Change the sample rate. And you can see the value, the uh, frequency right there. That's cool. If I wanted to do shaper or delay, let's do a little delay. And again, you can see the value right there, which or whatever you're dialing at that particular time. Let's see what we got here. So you get the idea of what's going on here and how much power you have over each instrument, which is actually very cool. Of course, tuning, length, hard and soft release, uh, speed, swing, play button all down here. And as I showed you before, you still have your power. You have all of the effects, mute solo. You could actually uh, uh, adjust the volume as well as the panning right here. And also set the output. You have, uh, looks like up to 16 outputs, I believe. Then again, you only have 12 instruments. So maybe it's just 12 and you can just assign them to up to uh, either one of these 16 outputs. Either way, I know for a fact that you can actually set all of these instruments going to individual channels out into your DAW to do, you know, further recording or editing, however. So, again, what I'm seeing here is a lot of potential, a lot, a lot. They have a role creator. Now, not really my thing, but if you're into trap, those kind of things, you could easily create roles or, or, or set up roles right here. How this works is you have all of these keys, which are the pink keys down here, depending on which key I play, we'll play it at a certain value right there. The other thing I like is you can have it in sync with the main tempo, whether you're using this in contact as a standalone or you're using it as a plug in. Uh, within your DAW, it will sync to that clock or you can adjust the speed at that point if you if you power that off. Very, very cool. Again, they have some very dope ideas here. Now, what I think is possibly the coolest thing that's happening is this right here. Remember, I showed you earlier in the sequencer that you could actually program, uh, not program, but you could select your drum sounds by clicking here, going through the different menus. The menus make drum selection so easy. What you have up here is a browser. And let's say, once again, I want to go through kicks. Click on kicks. And now these are the sub menus for the kicks. If I want to go through, let's say, acoustic, we can go here, power on menu mode. And if you look down here, all of the colors changed. I wonder why. What's happened is all of the kicks in that subfolder are available to be previewed with your MIDI controller. How crazy is that? That's crazy. Here's something else that's very dope. I want to select that kick right there. You can very easily just click on the slot you would like to load it to. Click apply. Hit that kick. And now it's loaded to that slot. Let's go back to the sequencer. Kick acoustic 27. How dope is that? <laughs> I really enjoy that. I think that is one of the easiest ways to actually uh, uh, build your own kit. That is crazy. And now we get down here to the 808 area. What you have here is the ability to affect and design any of the 808 bases that they have. 
so you can uh, adjust the attack. Hold the K. And the release. Stupid. You have all of that there. You have your compression over here. Just power it on. Adjust any of those uh, settings. Drive, EQ, saturation. They have some very, very dope ideas here. And this is what I would suggest. If you already have a sequencer, say Machine or Ableton Live, FL Studio, Logic, what have you. If you already have your own sequencer and you're looking for some very dope drum sounds and the ability to adjust them the way you would like, that's what I would purchase sequence for. You can always uh, uh, purchase it and use it as an actual sequencer. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the main purpose of it. But for me, I like to actually trigger my sounds into a sequencer and have those notes be recorded. So again, I think this works better as a plugin and as an instrument to where you can use any of these drum sounds. If you don't have a lot of drum sounds already for the price, you purchase this, you open it up within your sequencer, you lay down your drums, you can do the uh, editing and, and, and sound design for those particular drums and get some very great results. That's what I'm going to recommend this for. You can purchase sequence at pluginboutique.com for $99 US. And yes, there is an instant download. And if you're ready to buy, there's a purchase link available in the description. And that's it, peeps. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to computermusicacademy.com. See you next time.